It's the 23rd of July. I'm Jerusha Sukthiya Rath, and here are today's news headlines. Julius Malema is injured in an altercation between EFF members and police. A Lonman executive is set to testify at the Marikana inquiry, and the U.S. believe the shooting of MH17 was not backed by the Russian government. Police fired tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse members of the economic freedom fighters at the Gauteng legislature in Johannesburg yesterday evening. Stun grenades were thrown inside the foyer of the Gauteng legislature, where EFF leader Julius Malema and others were refusing to move. Malema was reportedly not seriously injured. Earlier in the day, Malema led about 2,000 EFF members to the legislature to protest against the removal of their MPLs during a sitting on July 1st for wearing branded red overalls. On their way to the legislature, EFF members defied the police by refusing to turn right into De Villiers Street and continuing straight onto Rissick Street facing oncoming traffic. On arrival, they broke through the police cordon and stormed into the building. They vowed not to leave until their MPLs were allowed back in the legislature. Lonman executive Michael da Costa is expected to give evidence at the Farlem Commission of Inquiry in Pretoria today. In June, he told the commission that Lonman had fallen behind Impala Platinum in the wages paid to rock drillers in the months leading up to the violent confrontation of Marikana in 2012. In June 2012, about 300 miners approached da Costa, who was a manager of a Lonman mine, and told him they wanted a basic salary of 12,500 rand for rock drill operators. Da Costa said he pointed out the increase was extremely high and unaffordable. Now police witness Mr. X fell ill yesterday and was taken to a doctor who booked him off for the rest of today. Mr. X, who can't be identified to protect his identity, has been testifying via video link from an undisclosed location. He says he fears for his life and is under police witness protection. The inquiry is investigating the deaths of 44 people during strike-related violence at Lonman's mining operations in August 2012. The U.S. believes the Russian government had no involvement in the downing of Malaysian Airlines flight MH17, although they concede Russia was responsible for creating the conditions that led to the incident. Speaking at a briefing, U.S. authorities said they had no direct evidence that the missile used to shoot down the passenger jet came from Russia. The plane was likely shot down by an SA-11 surface-to-air missile fired by Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, the black boxes recovered from the crash of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 in eastern Ukraine will be sent to British aviation investigators for analysis. Now, besides the handover of the black boxes, an agreement also states that the bodies from the crash will be sent to the Netherlands. This is for analysis before being returned home. And it also provides for a safe route to the site controlled by the insurgents. All 298 people aboard MH17 were killed when it went down over crisis hit eastern Ukraine last Thursday. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News 24 Live, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Instagram.